Okay, so welcome to the webinar about smart boards. This is me. Um, I've been around for about 13 years. And like, uh, um, like my colleagues uh, and Guylaine, uh, my colleague uh, Guylaine is with me today, helping me out. Thanks, Guylaine. Uh, we're focusing on tech coaching. Um, and uh, I personally, uh, at my work, also focus on uh, research about digital technology and assessment. Um, in particular, milestones and learner gains. Um, so if you have any questions about that, uh, feel free to contact me. Um, I'm facilitating presentations and workshops, like my colleagues, on practical applications of digital technology for teaching and learning. And here it comes. I don't have any particular experience with smart boards. Smart boards no wonder how I got stuck with this uh, webinar. Um, but that's okay. We don't have a smart board at the office, so it's a little bit tricky to try out things. So I've done quite a little bit of research, um, and uh, hopefully it's useful to you. Um, I'd be very interested if you do have experience with uh, smart boards or you, if you have access to a smart board, um, or if not, um, if you want to share your experiences and your or your ideas uh, about what we're talking about today. Uh, this is a multimedia presentation that contains videos. Um, depending on your internet connection, they may, they may run smoothly or not. Um, if they don't, feel free to open them up by yourself. Um, and you can do that if you have already the slides open on another screen, or you can open them up in your in the hands out section in the control panel on the right hand side. It's a little bit further down. There should be handouts, and uh, there's a PDF in there, and you can open that up, and the links in the PDF will work. Uh, if not, you can also go on the Alpha Plus website, and in the menu, go to training and the webinars, arch archived webinars, and um, click on the download slides link um, on top of the, the list of all the webinars. So today, we're going to talk about uh, what a smart board is, uh, how a smart board works, uh, why we might want to use a smart board. Uh, we'll talk about the, there's two versions of the software that you can use to create content uh, for a smart board. Uh, one is the smart notebook and the other one is called Notebook Express. We'll talk about Smart Exchange, which is a portal for um, downloading and finding content and, uh, uh, and sharing content with uh, other educators. Uh, we'll uh, look at a couple of uh, examples of uh, learning activities. Uh, then we'll look at a uh, app for the iPad or the iPhone or a smartphone, which is called the Cap App, that works together with the smart board. Uh, we'll look at a couple of useful uh, smart resources, uh, so you can have a look at more on at your leisure time. And uh, a couple of resources in French, uh, and then if we have time, we can discuss a little bit uh, how we can use adult basic education. So, what is a smart board? A smart board is really a an interactive whiteboard um, or IWB. Uh, so, smart board is is like when we say Kleenex for um, tissues. Uh, Smartboard is a Canadian company out of Calgary, um, and so the product they make is an interactive whiteboard and is often referred to as a smartboard. Um, it's a board that uh, connects to a computer and a data projector, so it can be also used to uh, project stuff uh, from your computer um, without the without using the interactivity, um, but it can also respond to uh, touch. And uh, we'll see a little bit about that later. Um, it allows you to control and manipulate the computer's projected display using either a special pen or fingers. Uses various types of software. Um, for example, you can use Word, PowerPoint, Excel, notebook, videos. Lots of things you can use on the computer, you can use on the smart board. Um, can capture and save class notes to be printed, emailed, or uploaded. 
and uh, it can record interactive presentations and voice for later viewing and for playback. Um, and it can incorporate media into activities, which is kind of nice. So here on the on the uh, picture, you see uh, a teacher writing her name directly. Um, I think she's even using her finger and not a pen. Uh, so smart boards come with four pens um, of different colors, um, but you can also use your fingers. Welcome to the webinar. Altered as an attendee in listen only mode. Just gonna mute. Cindy, because it seems she's in there, there's an echo going on. Okay, uh, how a smart board works. So this is a two minute a short video that I'll play. There's no sound, so don't be alarmed if you don't hear anything. Uh, if it gets jerky or something like that, feel free to open the same link from the uh, slides in the hands out section. So this little presentation is you can find on Wikipedia uh, on an article, article about smart boards, uh, which is quite interesting. So if you want to read up a little bit more about the background of smart boards, you can do that easily on that page on Wikipedia. Um, that's quite a little bit of interesting stuff there. So it shows you how you can uh, write on a smart board. As you can see, there is a, a, a menu up there like you would find in, uh, in uh, programs like Word um, or other programs where you can save, you can open a folder, um, do several things, choose different colors, choose different width of pens that you're using. On the left-hand side, there's a panel that allows you to embed media, um, different things. OK. So now we have a little bit of an idea what a smart board is for those of you who haven't seen one yet. Um, so why use a smart board? It's great for demonstrations and interactive activities. Uh, the really nice thing about smart board really is it combines different learning styles, uh, tactile learning styles, because you can touch the board and you can interact with the board that way. Um, it has audio um, and it has uh, visual like, uh, like regular projection screens. Um, what's also nice about it is that learners can contribute directly by input at the board and computers, tablets, or smartphones. On smartphones, um, we'll look at that a little bit later uh, with the uh, CAP app. Uh, it also, a smart board also interfaces with peripherals like um, peripherals, I'm sorry, like DVD players or cameras. Um, the notebook is the software that manages the activities. We'll take a look at that um, quite soon. Um, and so it manages the activities and the content. Um, there's free learning activities developed for smart boards and for smart board um, exchange. Uh, and of course, the interactivity using the smart cap on mobile devices uh, is something new um, and something um, 
that might be interesting uh, for you to explore. Um, we know of one program that uh, does it, does it already, um, and quite successfully they, they they're using it. So, in, uh, a literacy program, and uh, so it's that's quite exciting. The smart notebook. So the smart notebook is a software that manages the uh, the content. It's an application for creating and managing the lesson content. Um, it's available as a student edition. Um, there's a math add-on. There's a web-based version um, and an online repository. The smart notebook is included with the smart board license. Um, so when when your organization uh, buys a smart board or if they've bought a smart board, um, the license keys that come with the smart board also work for the notebook software. Um, there is a free trial, a 45-day free trial. The, uh, the link is there at the bottom. Um, if you ever wanted to try it out before um, or um, if you want to you know, convince your program to get a smart board or if you want to just see what it's like. Um, so the smart notebook allows to compile notes, images, and other media in the virtual notebooks that can be edited using the smart board. Um, or you can edit them on the computer. Uh, smart board interactive whiteboards work with any program loaded on available uh, or available on the host computer. Uh, so that includes, like I said before, your Word, your PowerPoint, uh, things, uh, programs like that. Uh, applications commonly used with a smart board are, oh, there we go. I should read one line ahead. <laughs> uh, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, and uh, even programs like AutoCAD. Uh, which is used um, a lot for uh, um, design and this, uh, so that will be quite useful. I've never seen that working on a smart board, but that will be cool. So if you want to have a check out that trial, um, use the link below, and uh, I think it says it's a forty-five day free trial, and you, then you probably have to cancel before the forty-five days are over. Okay, so let's watch the next video under two minutes. Um, if if the first video was a little bit jerky. Uh, use the uh, use the link in the in the slides to do it. We know that the greatest impact on student achievement comes from what a teacher enables in their classroom. That's why at Smart we continue to innovate our tools and our features to make sure we accelerate those practices. Smart Notebook is optimized for use on an interactive display. Teachers love the fact that it has all the different digital tools that would normally piece together now packed into one place. With 3D tools, you have access to hundreds of thousands of 3D content that you can pull right into notebook software. The different handles allow students and teachers to manipulate that 3D content, making for a really engaging and interactive experience. Teachers can also insert a GeoGebra widget and can interact with it naturally. Math and science teachers love the equation editor. Simply hand write your equations, and you can even drag it into GeoGebra and have it autograph for you. With the touch of one button, teachers can bring in images from the document camera and immediately begin interacting with them inside of notebook software. The lesson activity builder inside a smart notebook software allows a teacher to create fun, interactive, engaging activities that leverage the teacher's content. The Lesson Activity Builder allows a teacher to add game components to their activities. The timer and the buzzer. Save and close. Now, with these simple little elements, I can introduce the buzzer into this activity. I can start the countdown timer. And now students will go through and start completing the activity, get immediate feedback in terms of how they're progressing. And the first person to finish hits the buzzer. It signals that they complete. Okay. So let's go on to a smart exchange. Smart exchange is the uh, the portal uh, where uh, educators can find uh, content and lessons. Um, so it includes resources uh, submitted by educators, but also um, by the smart company and uh, and educational publishers. 
Uh, membership is free and allows uh, teachers to upload or download learning resources. Um, you can even also uh, download one, adapt it to what you need to do, and then uh, either keep it for yourself or upload it again for other uh, teachers to, um, uh, to use. Uh, smart notebook files, smart table activity packs, 3D content, smart ideas files, and PDFs are kind of the, the kind of file types that you will find there. Um, the smart notebooks files and the smart table activity packs uh, only work with, uh, with, the, uh, with the smart board and the smart idea, idea, idea files. Um, access to, uh, it gives you, smart exchange gives you access to your uploaded files to edit, delete, or replace them at any time. So you have full, full control over them. Uh, it's not like you're uploading it there, and then if you change your mind, you can't um, get rid of them. So you can. Um, it has an advanced search engine by subject, grades, um, and country. Um, since it's more designed for um, like your, your regular K-12 crowd, you know, it's a little bit hard to find... Um, uh, activities that are good for adults. Um, there's a search option for post-secondary that pulls up a few things. Um, and other than that, you, you just have to kind of look around a little bit and, uh, but it doesn't take too long. I, I think I, I've, I found a, a, a couple of good activities quite, uh, quite quickly. For example, uh, two things that I found using the post-secondary uh, search option and uh, and country Canada is a Jeopardy activity that looks uh, looks uh, uh, adult oriented to me. And then um, there's a uh, there's an article about the uh, Voki avatar. We're going to look at the Jeopardy in a in a in a minute. Uh, for the Voki avatar, um, it just explains, and I've worked a little bit with Voki before. It's quite, it's quite nice. It's something that you can add to any activity uh, to give it, um, to add a, um, a speaking module to it. So it uses an avatar, and you can uh, um, put your text in it, and it'll, it'll, it'll uh, voice out that text. Um, and you can embed it in smart board activities or into any other, um, uh, any other online activities. Like we've worked with it before. Uh, in Moodle, and we've added it to uh, uh, Moodle online activities to make them more um, accessible for um, learners with reading challenges, and that worked pretty well. And you can uh, you can change the look of the person who's speaking and all those kind of things. It's pretty neat. Um, so that's one of the things that came up. And Jap and the Jeopardy game is one of the one of the other um, activities that came up, um, and that's what it looks like. So in It'll open up in uh, the um, a Smart Notebook um, Express, uh, which we're going to look in uh, in a couple of slides. The Smart Notebook Express is the online version of the uh, Smart Notebook, uh, so so it doesn't require you to download any uh, software or put in any uh, license keys. So on the left hand side, you see like the template slides, um, and then uh, in the middle, you can you, you see the uh, you see the template content, and then you can change the the content. Um, for example, in the next slide, you'll see how uh, you can write in your uh, the name of the category. Uh, you can uh, um, like Jeopardy works, right? Um, and then get your own Jeopardy game going, um, and have your students uh, use it on the smart board. So yeah, the Smart Notebook Express is the web application that enables educators everywhere to open, interact with, and share Smart Notebook collaborative learning. So if you're if you don't have a license key, or if you're past your 45 day trial license, or if you just don't want to download and install Notebook on your computer, or if uh, if you don't have a your own work computer, um, you can use the online version called Notebook Express. Um, there's also a student edition, uh, and again, that ma a math add-on, and uh, uh, and it is a web-based version, um, and it links to the um, Smart Exchange online repository. Uh, and from there, you can 
download activities too from a smart notebook express into a smart notebook or you can view them online and use as is in notebook express if you want to change them um and if you want to change them and save them for later you will need to as far as i understood you will need to download them to uh, the regular notebook uh, that's the choices you get when you first go to a notebook express uh, so you can just open it as an existing notebook file um, or you can create a new notebook file you can download it or you can use the web-based version of it uh, the video can explain it a little bit better than i can uh, so i'll open that again if it's too choppy use the handouts and uh, play it for yourself and uh, it'll take about to just under three minutes. Hello, this is a little tutorial on how you can use lessons from the Smart Exchange without ever having to download a file, um, and this should save you some time. So if you go to exchange.smarttech.com, you'll be brought to this home page. You click on the search tab here, then it'll give you a bunch of search fields so you can look for a certain topic like letters. And then if you wanted to look for a specific grade or grades, you can check that, click off of it, and click go. So this will show you all of the available lessons that other people have made. And you'll see two options here. One is to download the file, which will save it to your computer, which requires you to download the file, open the file, and then do a bunch of stuff. But you can also open in Smart Notebook Express without having to download the file. I'm going to go down to this alphabet letters only and when I click open smart notebook express then it shows me this lesson I don't have all of the tools that I do within a smart notebook but if you're just looking for a quick lesson for your students this works out well and you can even edit these different items if you want it. click on them these are locked so they're not very much editable but in a lot of cases they're not locked um, but if they are, you can't really do much with them. But if you want to give some instructions here, you can click on the letter and click where you want to add your text. Say, make a new word or whatever you wanted to say. And when you click on the arrow, then your students could come in here and move these letters to make some words. But then. If you wanted to use some of these other features, like the shade, you still can. Um, but you're limited as to what you can do. You can add new pages and um, do some annotations. But it's a lot easier than downloading the file, editing it, finding where it was, and opening it back up. And I think that could be useful for a lot of people. So hopefully it is for you. If you do want to save your changes um, or reset it again, let's say you wanted to do this lesson over again, you could go to File, Save As, and then that will save it as a notebook file, which would only be open, able to be opened in the Smart Notebook software. Um, or you could just close it um, and then go back and open it again. So hopefully that helps, and thanks for listening. Great, that was, uh, I thought that was a good video. Um, and thanks, Gilen, for also putting the, um, uh, the links in the, um, uh, in the questions uh, chat box. Here's a couple of sample learning activities. Uh, we won't have a look at them um, in detail, um, but those are recommended by another one of my excellent colleagues, uh, Monica. Uh, one is a gumball activity for numeracy, and the other one is a uh, numeracy activity using Canadian currency. Um, yeah, so feel free to check that out. Um, when you click on it, they should open in, uh, in the, um, what's it called? The uh, Smartbook Express. So the Smartbook uh, is an app that you can download or on your um, uh, iPod or tablet. 
uh, connects learners to the smart board um, and allows them to submit or content to an activity displayed on the smart board. Um, it automatically, what's really cool about it, it automatically saves what is displayed on the smart board for review. So even if it's even if it's uh, changed or if it's wiped off of the smart board, or once the smart board shuts off, it'll still be available for students to see um, on their on their own device. It works in the classroom, so students can interact with the smart board in the in the classroom. Um, so you could have a you could have somebody interact with the smart board by coming up to the smart board and. Uh, uh, and interacting with the smart board that way, or you could have your other students, your other students um, also uh, do muted. Unmuted. Thanks. Um, and it's it's available for uh, for iOS. Uh, iOS is the operating system for all the Apple devices like your uh, iPhone, iPad, and iPod, um, and, uh, and also for Android devices, so your Samsung smartphones or those kind of things. Um, sorry about the background noise on my end. Somebody's mowing the lawn outside. Um, so let's, uh, there's, there's a video of a couple of minutes that uh, really shows nicely what you can do with the uh, Smart Cap app. Um, I'll play that for you. And uh, uh, yeah, have a look in the, uh, if it doesn't uh, play for you that way, uh, if it's choppy, have a look in the um, discussion, in, in the uh, questions pane for the link or in the slides. Teachers and students across the globe love the simplicity of walking up and writing ideas on a shared space. It represents one of the most natural kinds of interactions in the classroom and is the simplest way of making ideas immediately visible to yourself and to others. And now with SmartCap IQ, this experience is enhanced by simply downloading and opening the SmartCap app from your device, scanning the QR code, and immediately you have access to capturing and sharing written content. By clicking the sharing icon, you have a variety of options to send a link to the live session. Participants can view the live session in their browser, as well as contribute their thoughts with live multi-way inking. Because it is browser-based, any local or remote participant can use whatever device they are comfortable with to view and contribute content in real time. The browser also gives participants the option to choose between red or black ink to help clarify ideas. This makes it easy for collaboration to happen in real time without the need for complex IT involvement. If your school purchased a subscription of SmartAmp, participants can choose to insert those saved notes into a SmartAmp workspace by simply selecting the Add Image tab, clicking on Select Image, then navigating to the captured notes you want to insert. Participants wanting to include captured notes into a smart notebook file can use the top menu to select Insert, then Picture, which prompts them to select the desired capture. Smart Cap IQ is the only multi-way interactive display that combines traditional walk-up-and-use simplicity of the whiteboard with the power of a front-of-room display. This makes it compatible with the large variety of classroom practices and diversity of technology present in classrooms today. Useful smart board resources. Um, here's a list of. Um, I'm not going to play them. I think there those uh, those you can play at your at your leisure. Um, there's a one that's uh, there's a few that are, are really good. It's the get to know your smart board. A smart tutorial for teachers. Quite a short tutorial. Then there's a playlist uh, from Smart um, that's called Educator to Educator. Uh, there's quite a few videos on there. Short videos um, about different. Uh, 
uh, different uh, things about the smart, but different functions, uh, different uses, those kind of things. Um, there's a there's a private channel by um, Bailey's Elementary um, that uh, has a quite a good, um, a little bit longer, nine minute long um, smart board for beginners uh, video you can watch. And then there's a uh, another private uh, video um, by a, a fellow called um, Adam Bello with five tips and tricks uh, for the smart board, which are kind of kind of cool. Uh, there's also resources in French, um, and uh, uh, so this one here is a is a guide, an orientation guide uh, to interactive digital technology, um, and it also has comes with um, brief video segments for each section in the guide um, on YouTube. Um, so if you if you're interested in the uh, uh, in a French in a guide in French, um, have a look at that. Um, it's pretty good and. Uh, um, and it's pretty comprehensive. So how could we use SmartBoard in adult basic education? I've looked around um, a little bit. There's very, um, very, very little out there uh, for adult literacy classes. I found a video that I thought is worth showing about um, the use of SmartBoard in an ESL class, in an, an adult ESL class in uh, San Francisco, in South San Francisco. Uh, so I'm going to play that for you, and maybe afterwards we can uh, uh, discuss a little bit. But uh, and it would be great that if you if you if some of you are using smart boards, maybe it's something um, you want to record and put on YouTube. So, student, you have paper and information. Paper are pictures. And the uh, pronouns, pronouns, very good. So your answers on your paper, you're going to check, and volunteers come up and move the pronouns to. The picture. Pronouns, verb to be, contraction, possessive adjective. But these answers are wrong. And we need to change. We need to move them out. And a different pronoun move to the correct picture. So this, this is... The, these are the pronouns, and you can check the total line, or just once, if you like, okay, to find it. You have to move, move, the, picture, move, move the, the paper, the page, to find the correct information. We finished she, verb to be. Is contraction she is her. her? Okay, so I need a volunteer. So she's the Lordis will do the pronoun verb to be contraction possessive adjective. And then this is not necessary. She will reject. That's okay. I mean, it's extra. She, she is. She's. So you're going to go down, Lourdes, down. There you go. Down. Okay, so yes, you can you can move one finger, uh huh, and you can move up, up, up. Okay, continue, yeah. I'll move it. You continue to move. So pronoun, we, we, we. verb to be, uh, uh, R. So this is good, R. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And contraction, yeah. that's okay, that's okay. And we're just going to move out of there. Okay, now you're free to, free to move. Very good. So contraction, where? So 
And then my no, no. Oh, um, she's gonna move. Oh, you have to click on the my. You have to click on yeah to move the my. Okay. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna. Just check if everybody has their, okay, I'll, I'll unmute everybody. And uh, if you have any ideas about um, how smart words could be used in uh, your program, uh, just go ahead. Uh, just go ahead. Just go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's Cindy that's giving us the echo. So sorry, Cindy, I had to uh, take off your microphone again. Um, just use the uh, use the question panel if you uh, if you have any questions or any ideas um, that you'd like to share. Um, the other microphones are still open. It doesn't look like we're getting a feedback from those. Um, so if you, Susan, Andrea, Angela, uh, or Eileen, if you. If you have any ideas about if you're using smart boards already or um, or if you have any ideas about how you might want to use them, feel free to share them here today. the The way that we saw in the in the in the video is that something that would work. Is that a is that an activity that uh, would work in one of your classes? Oh, I see. So, uh, yes, I forgot, Susan. You don't have a microphone. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so Susan says we have a smart board, uh, but its interactive operation is very sluggish and undependable. Okay, so we use it mainly to show video PowerPoint slides. We don't know what the problem is. Okay, I think from what I understand, um, it could be the, the calibration of it. Um, smart boards need to be uh, calibrated once in a while, and by that, I, uh, I think it means to, uh, to adjust that the, that, the that the touch actually responds to, uh, to what's being projected. Um, so on the on, in the smart smart board software, or I think even on the board, there might be a button that um, uh, that is uh, that is used to calibrate it, and then it runs, and then the smart board runs through a uh, through a pattern where you have to touch the smart board at a cer at, at certain edges and stuff like that to make sure that your touch corresponds with uh, with how the computer reads your touch. So that, that could be one reason why it's sluggish. Um, okay, Susan is answering. We've used the orientation feature repeatedly, but it doesn't help with the sluggishness. Oh, okay. Hmm. Then, I, then, yeah, then I don't know either. Then maybe there is um, something else wrong with it. Um, then, then you're probably better off to call your, um, to call the smart book company. Um, they should have a, they should have a support, a helpline, um, and and be able to advise you on on what you can do. Hopefully, but thank you for sharing that. Um, that's definitely that's a bummer. That uh, uh, because if it's sluggish, then obviously the uh, the interactivity is um, uh, is hard to make use of. Uh, does anybody else have a smart board? Um, Okay, so yeah, so that's that's one thing that can happen. Thanks for throwing that in, Susan. Um, okay, so that's uh, maybe that's something uh, maybe that's something for you to think about how you could use a smart board um, in uh, in literacy programs. 
um, or other other basic education programs, and maybe then uh, maybe then uh, share it at the, at some other point, uh, some other venue. Thank you very much um, for uh, listening, for being here. It would be great if you can fill out the survey. Um, Elena is going to put the uh, put the link into the uh, into the um, uh, into the chat box for you uh, that you can open it, um, or you can open it directly from uh, from the slides if you've uh, if you've opened them. Um, the slides are also available, and the slides from all the other webinars and the recordings from all the other webinars that we've done uh, on the Alpha Plus website under this link. Or if you go to the Alpha Plus website and go to in the menu to training, and then archive webinars, um, and uh, there's also a webinar schedule there that you can use either that link or use the Alpha Plus website menu to find the. Uh, uh, what other webinars are scheduled. So thank you very much. And uh, I, uh, I hope it, uh, it gave you a little bit of an overview of, what's, uh, of, of what a smart board is and what's possible. And if you have any questions, ideas, or feedback, feel also free to uh, email me or to email alpha plus at uh, info at alpha plus .ca. And my email address is msturm at alpha plus .ca. Thanks very much, everybody.